And now more on that breaking news that we told you about a moment ago out of Chesapeake. A Chesapeake jury has found an off-duty Norfolk police officer not guilty of manslaughter in a case from two years ago. News 3's Antoinette Delvell is at the courthouse. She's been covering this case for us, and she's got the breaking details. Antoinette, what more can you tell us? Well, that verdict coming down around 5 o'clock, so just a short time ago, and it took the jury about two hours to find Hoyt not guilty, and right after that verdict was read, Hoyt broke down in tears. And just before that verdict, I filed this report where Hoyt and his wife took the stand today, describing the moments leading up to Hoyt's shooting death. Edmund Hoyt, who goes by Ryan, and his wife Jessica testifying for the first time during the three-day retrial. On the stand Thursday, Jessica, still visibly shaken, says she was scared when she crossed paths with Kelvin White as she and her two little girls were walking to the food lion in Chesapeake in January 2020. She claims White was blocking her from passing and stood about two inches away from her against the stroller with a menacing demeanor. So why not walk around White? Well, Jessica says she'd have to go onto the street into traffic and didn't want to do that with her kids. She says she told White in a shaky voice, I have mace and I'm not afraid to use it. It was then that Jessica says White threatened her, saying, I have a knife and I'll stab you in the face. Jessica says she didn't see a knife on White at that point, adding she frantically called her husband. In court Thursday, she said, I was weak and terrified and froze and felt small and useless. I didn't know what to do and just hoped my husband knew what to do. Hoyt, a Norfolk police officer who was off duty at the time, rushed to the grocery store. He says he went there to protect his family. Once there, Hoyt says he told White he was an off-duty officer and yelled commands for him to get on the ground, but White did not. The two got into a scuffle, and Hoyt says that's when White started slashing him with a knife. Hoyt says White kept walking toward him with the knife, so he shot him several times, calling it self-defense. But the Commonwealth's attorney argues White was the one defending himself because he was, quote, attacked by Hoyt. He says Hoyt pulled a gun on White before he even took a knife out, adding White had no proof Hoyt was an officer because he was in street clothes and didn't show a badge. The Commonwealth says White was not on his meds and had schizophrenia, but was not aggressive unless he was provoked, pointing out he didn't threaten Jessica until she threatened him with Mace. During his testimony, Hoyt says he wanted the jury to hear from him after he shot White. He says he felt, quote, awful. That was never my intention that day. Now, Hoyt could have faced up to 10 years for manslaughter, but again, he was found not guilty. Live in Chesapeake, Antoinette Delbelt, News 3.